thankful to have this opportunity to be with you on this Thursday. And as we move forward here through the spring and heading toward a summer of ministry, uh, it's really a blessing to see open doors and all that God can do. Yesterday, we talked about the positive aspect of seeing America reached by Christians fasting and praying and then obeying, and churches sending forth people all across this country to start new churches and to strengthen the existing churches. God can do it if we put first things first. Well, I want to look at a negative side here today. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, we find some warnings about those that get off on tangents. And today we have good-hearted people that have had a tendency because of the emergencies we're facing to get off on some tangents that can actually stop this pro uh, progression of God working through the local church. Uh, there is a lot of prophetic perspectives that have been given, and certainly I can understand that. It does just stir you to see how easily the book of Revelation could be fulfilled. But yet, we do not know when the Lord's going to come. And we need to be very careful not to get sidetracked with that. In fact, that was part of the problem that uh, caused the need to write First and Second Thessalonians, a wrong understanding about the coming of the Lord. And then there's also all kinds of perspectives on uh, what the church should do. Uh, some call for hunkering down and fortressing ourselves, and, and then there's that uh, spirit in some of needing to rise up and fight for our country. And in all of that, there's some truth to being wise, there's truth to being active and following the Lord, but it's easily then turn to getting us off the road of pure Christianity onto human reaction to the situation that's at hand. My friends, we're not going to humanly win back the White House, for instance. We're not going to humanly solve what may be happening internationally when it comes to all of this uh, disease management and uh, to financial matters and the whole idea of uh, socialism. It's there. It's real. It's disturbing. But as believers, we've got to not get off of the main thing and get ourselves either anxious or active in things that may seem to be good, but are not the main thing. Now, again, I want to say that we need to do everything we can to exercise our privileges as Americans. So I'm not saying we shouldn't do that. What I'm talking about is our focus, and our focus has got to be the Great Commission. The only hope for America is there, for there to be an explosion of new churches, for there to be a reviving of the churches that we have, and God raising up a generation of young people with a love for the Lord Jesus and a boldness to proclaim the gospel. If we do not have that, all of our other efforts will be in vain. And we read in verse 6 of chapter 3 of 2 Thessalonians, Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition which he received of us. And, and he talks about how some were not even uh, working because they thought uh, about the, the coming of the Lord uh, had drawn nigh, the rapture had taken place, many wrong thoughts had come at that time. And uh, we are then warned in verse 13, but ye brethren, be not weary in well-doing. We need to stay at the main thing. Let's don't get off the path, but let's stay right on the uh, that, that crisp edge of God's will for our lives so that we can see the mighty power of God in our day.